host. Good evening from All Star Movies. Yeah. It's been a long time since we've been here or at a value, really. Yeah, well, not too long. We no. stayed at um, Art of Animation. Well, that's, well, Art of Animation, I don't know if you consider that really a value. Okay. This is more of like a moderate. <laughs> but we're only here for one night. Yeah, I'm we excited. Had, yeah, check out one of the new remodel rooms here. Yes. Um, and I believe we're in the Toy Story area, mm -hmm. which is one of the preferred rooms, which is nice because it's right <laughs> next to the lobby. It is, uh-huh. And um, pool, playground, if that's the thing that you're interested in. So great building to be in because we're pretty close to everything. Uh, let's do what we do. Let's we're go, go check, check out, out some resort. merch. Yes. And uh, probably get a, get a few snacks. snacks. Let's go. But it's your standard resort yeah. gift shop. Uh, oh, they still have these books. They do. I really like which, these. Those are really awesome. And they have... Which is very fitting for this resort, the PHS ones. But um, I mean, it has a—it's a good collection of your standard Disney yeah. merchandise. They also have a package pickup, which I don't know if they're still doing that right now. Uh, but I will say what's nice about this resort is um, the the gift shop and the restaurant. Are next oh, to each other, yeah. whereas like remember at uh, Art of Animation you have yeah, to cut through. Yeah, and Pop, same thing, right? Wasn't it Pop the same thing that you had to cut through to? Uh, Maybe not. Maybe no, I'm wrong. No, yeah. Definitely Art of Animation. You have to go through the gift shop to get right. to their food to court. The food so court, yeah. found a small collection of the All Star yeah. branded merch. So you got a pretty cool shirt actually. I, that's fun. And then you got the. I uh, like that mug. I don't know. It's like <laughs> a classic '90s. 90s. Yeah. Um, and then the ornament. Nice little keychain, a pin, and it doesn't say music, sports, or right. movies, it's and just I, all combined. Honestly, and then, I am impressed with the merch that they had, because, you know, some of the resorts we've been to recently, they haven't had any merch, branded like branded merch. merch, yeah, right. so I'm impressed with what they do have. And I was going to say, probably much needed for those dads here on the <laughs> share conventions, a toothpick take holder, right? Is what, uh, yeah. And I did confirm they are not doing the package pickup right, right now. Right, okay. So what are you picking up? Our standard... Um, our typical magnet yeah. ornament. Yeah. And we always have those for wherever we stay. So I don't know. We'll see what else we get. I like these shirts right here. This red one. I, I don't okay, think so I've seen that one in the park. I like this one. I thought you were talking about this one at first. And I was going to say, even though I like this style, I don't like this because it always rubs off. I remember that oh, red yeah. shirt. Right, right. But that one doesn't look like that. That's actually really cute. Too bad for you, I think it's a woman's shirt. Yeah, yeah, I know. But <laughs> I don't think I've seen that in the one No, park. I like that. And that's a nice thing. You'll see some things at the resorts that you may not see in the yeah. parks. Um, the Choose Magic, I believe I've seen that one at, like, Disney I Springs and the other Walt Disney World thing. Or the other Walt Disney World So back sweatshirt. to what you were saying, though. Um, I, now, obviously, I would probably take this for a grain of salt with COVID going on. But outside of COVID... Um, the resorts, it's a good place to keep in mind if you're looking for a specific item that you can't find in the parks. Um, like you said, a lot of times the resorts will have it. If you ask the cast, they'll check and see if it's available at one of their resorts. And um, if it is, they'll tell you which one so you can go get it. Again, um, I don't know so much with COVID because they're not really letting a lot of people who aren't staying at the resorts right. in. But after COVID, that's a good thing to keep in mind. They have the resort mugs. Disney's where it means this is for you. We know you love the resort mugs. There you go. We do too, actually. But uh, we knew only being here one night, it really wasn't worth it for us right. to get them this trip. So. Yeah. And it was always a, a great thing to get when they would do the um, Disney dining plan. Yeah. That was always nice. But yeah. there you guys go. Cheers. We didn't see any ears because no. sometimes we'll see different ears at the resorts. Yeah. But this hat, I haven't seen that hat yet. Similar to the e-ticket one, kind of. Yeah, kind of. Kind of saw stitching on that. And I don't know about that small one. I don't think I would ever wear it, but I kind of like that small one hat, too. Oh, yeah, that one's cute. And then this one. Yeah. Ooh, 
I wonder if that's kind of like what to, what's going to come with the 50th merch. Maybe. Maybe we haven't seen it yet. But that uh, definitely has some of that iridescent yeah. uh, color to it. And, oh, the little cute forky hat. The shirt, the male, oh. the male version of the shirt right here. So the, this red one looks like the kind that like yeah. rubs off, but the gray one doesn't. I like that the gray one. one. That's nice. That one's awesome. $37. Okay, it's so and that's it's, not bad. It's a soft fit too, so. Okay. I like that though. Yeah. I like the the embroidering over yeah, here. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, I don't. I might have to get that one. We did mobile order, and this is what I got. Here's my treat because uh, we, we had last year when they had the Mickey bars that were released in the stores. We bought a box. Yeah. Um, so I haven't had like an actual Mickey bar in a while. Yeah. Uh, though I know it's different from the ones that you could buy in your local grocery store. Um, like the chocolate's different, and the size is different. But it was pretty convenient to mobile order and do that. Yeah, actually the, pretty easy. See, it's, um, I mean, similar to all the other food courts. Yeah. Um, smaller dining area than there is, like, an art of animation. Yeah. But very similar setup where you have to show them that you uh, your order's ready before you come in. They have tables set up, and um, you pick up your, your food. Now, you guys got some cupcakes, we but I'm did. guessing you're going to show those... I'll show them to you now. Show them now, but, now gonna... but we're going to eat them in the room. I will say this table that we're sitting at does remind me of the one we ate at when we were... Um, Art of Animation? At, yeah, at Art of Animation. Yeah, a little loud. The a little up. louder, though. Well, they're playing a movie over here, which yeah. is it's pretty cool for the kids. They're really enjoying that, but right. it is kind of loud. Try a Mickey bar. <laughs> Nothing like a good Mickey premium bar? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Can't I, go wrong. I know somebody's looking forward to trying it. I'm going to say, Ellie, and they do some updating because they do have some newer oh, yeah, movie posters. I see right. that. So, see over there, you can see they have Luca and they have, um, is that Soul? Falcon and the Winter Soldier, if you guys are into that right now. Cruella's coming, that one's pretty cool. And then Frozen 2. So, somebody wants to try a Mickey bar. So, I get to try your cupcake then, right? What? I just got Poe. <laughs> you want to try it too? Come on over. Aww. Good? Good? Yeah. You like that? I remember when the girls first had a Mickey bar <laughs> quite a few years ago. We were in Frontierland. Oh, I remember I we, that. Yeah. We were, I think we were there with family. Yeah. Um, it was a hot summer day and the girls couldn't finish it in time. It was just melting because we were they on the way to Tumsor Island. They had mastered how to eat like anything on a stick yet like ice cream on a stick so <laughs> yeah i remember that so i love staying at the deluxe i love staying at a moderate yep. but my one of my absolute favorite things about the value resorts are the photo spots that they have yeah. um they've got a lot of character like little photo spots obviously not like live characters but just places for you to take a picture with some of the different characters that you see in the park so here we've got Donald and Daisy. Yeah. Um, next to the building that we're staying in are the Toy Story characters, which is really cool. Um, but all the, the value resorts are like that, to my knowledge, that I've seen. Um, I know if you watch our Art of Animation video, you, you can see the characters there, too. So I just think that's really, really cool. We made it to the room. Yes. Yes. And we, we did just a, a little walk. Yes. Um, around the rest of the resort. Yeah. Took some pretty cool night shots. Yeah. We got those snacks, which I know the girls are just at the bit too... Uh, enjoy some of those cupcakes but. yeah if you know us you know every time we stay at a resort we always get a cupcake from the mm -hmm. fast food whatever cafeteria yeah, is yeah mm -hmm. so this trip is no different we have a cupcake for the girls to try yeah and the room's not bad no i I, no. I like it um it's a good size um we're only here for one night so it definitely fits our needs but i mean i think if you were here for several nights they use the space pretty well so mm -hmm. Um, just like with all the value resorts, there's plenty of space to put your stuff. Yeah. So for a family of four, um, I mean, it's definitely enough space to stay. Right. And for the price point, too, right. to be able to stay on property and get the benefits of being on property. So you, know, you get your, be able to make your park reservations and things like that. The price is pretty on par with some of the, um, the hotels that are off property. So sometimes right. we'll stay at like the Marriott Village or something mm -hmm. that's across the way. Um, and really, the prices are about the same. Yeah, it's not um, bad. So I definitely think it's mm -hmm. worth the money, and, and it's a great resort to stay at, too. This pool is down to be a bed as well, but yeah. uh, we did a full room tour. You can click uh, in the description down there or up above um, to check that out. Oh, this really isn't bad. I like how no. they got rid of the carpets, yeah, and it's yeah, all the yeah. vinyl floor. 
Um, our room is literally right next to the food court. Yeah, which is and great. The um, front desk and the main pool, which isn't bad. And there's a parking lot like right outside too, so that's really nice. Um, it's very like all of the the spacing and I yeah. guess how everything's laid out is very convenient. Right. At least for this particular room. But I mean, right. we did we walked around and every one of them seems pretty. Mm -hmm. pretty convenient so but i like it so far yeah the pool was a little busy yeah um and i don't i don't think it would happen but do you think if you're because if they had the other ones because right now i believe only movies is open all star yeah, movies all star yeah, music yeah. all star sports are not open right now right um do you think there'd be even more people over here yeah probably you think so um yeah and that's something um just being on some of the Facebook groups and seeing some of the other resort pools, they have been filling up at some of these more peak, mm. busier times. So keep that in mind if you want to go to the pool. That there, there may be a lot of people. You may not even be able to get in, but there may be a lot of people at the pool. Right. Um, and this pool is not huge. I think. I mean, they do have two pools here, but this pool isn't huge. So mm -hmm. it could. I could see it getting very busy very quickly. Right. Cupcake time. Yeah, I'm excited. So this is like. A chocolate cupcake, and then okay. the top is a cookies and cream icing. Okay. Um, now, sometimes their icing can be a little sweet, right. um, and it's a lot of icing. I'm not like a huge ice person anyway, so. Um, but I'm excited for so this. So this is one. like the gray stuff, you think? Oh, I wonder. And hopefully, because my uh, if you guys are familiar with Publix at all, uh, mm. my only complaint with Publix cakes is their chocolates are usually like dry. Mm. So I know that I mean, tends to happen sometimes with chocolate. Well, you know what I think it is? is It's it's a little dense, okay. which does make it a little drier. Gotcha. Um, so, But it's not too dry. And then if you have it with the icing, it's actually not too bad. It's got like a creamy consistency to it with the icing. So it's actually Ooh. a pretty good flavor. And it's not too, too sweet. Like I said, sometimes the icing is overpoweringly sweet and right. it's a lot of icing. This actually isn't like that. It's not too sweet at all. I definitely recommend this one. This is pretty good. Okay. Is that resort specific? Do you know? I don't know that. Okay. I'm not too sure. It didn't say. I was finally getting a taste of the cupcake. What do you think? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Do you like that one? Now, I know we didn't really get to have many treats in the park. Mm-hmm. So, you now you're waiting all day for some sort a of cupcake, cupcake, so you're devouring yeah. it. Is it a good cupcake? Yeah. Yeah, it looks... I mean, I tried it. I know it's good, but it looks like you guys are really enjoying it. That's going to do it here for night one yes. at All Star Movies. Uh -huh. Now it's time to watch Happily Ever After because yeah. it hasn't returned to the parks yet. Only way you can watch it while on property. That's right. So you guys have a great night. We'll see you in the morning. Mm -hmm. Good morning from All Star Movies. All Star Movies, yeah. So we're about to go get breakfast. But we're staying in the Toy Story area. We walked around the resort to uh, look at all the other photo ops. Which one's your favorite that you saw, girls? The doll. The doll, 101 Dalmatians? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's a little like, wet here today. I like being the news. Oh yeah, you like being on the TV. Yeah. So let's go get our breakfast. If you're staying on property, you know you have to get the bounty platter if you're not doing a sit down or, or something. Uh, and you also always have to get- Mickey waffles. Mickey waffles. Um, and what's great is they do, and I got the, those last time, the plant-based um, Mickey Waffles. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and you actually chose the bounty platter as well because you wanted to make a biscuit sandwich. Right? Excited? Yeah. Yeah. And we decided to eat in the room just because it was a little loud um, in the cafe last night. Yeah, and it was rainy today. Yeah. So we figured just come back to the room and kind of relax. Yeah, hang out a little bit. Yeah. We're all packed up. Yeah. It was a pretty sad. good, yeah, I mean, it was a pretty good one night. <laughs> it was. Um, stay. Really was pretty good. How was your sleep? Mine was good, but it um, took a little while to fall asleep because it was <laughs> a little loud. It was, oh, I didn't hear any noise, but the thing that kept waking me up is we're used to sleeping in like a pitch black room. Yeah. Um, and these are not quite black out curtains. Well, so there was a lot of light. Well, there was also a night light in the, the bathroom I forgot to turn off. Yeah, I w well, I woke up a couple of times. I'm like, is it daylight yet? Because it just felt like there was so much light coming through. But right. otherwise, I had a really great sleep. So It was good, like I said. Yeah. And the noise I heard wasn't really from the rooms next to us. It was yeah. more from outside of people yeah. just screaming, playing, having fun, which is fine. Yeah. fine. <laughs> um, but it was like 11 o'clock at night where I was like, okay, I'm, I'm done with it. <laughs> So we're going to try to walk around a little yeah. bit. It's rainy, so we'll see what yeah. um, we can do. I know it's a little bit hard to take um, some of the photo ops with the girls because the things will be wet. But yeah. let's, uh, let's, let's go, go check some things find. out. 
as we said last night, our room was located in a Toy Story area, yeah. which is awesome. I mean, who doesn't love Toy Story? I loved it. I mean, it doesn't matter where you stay, like what section, because the rooms are all going to be the same. Right. But it's nice because you got a little Andy's room um, over there with a, a tall Buzz and Woody. Of course, RC. And then if you look over here, you can see how close we were to the yeah. cafe. The Fantasia pool is right over here. And this is where the cafe and the main uh, entrance is. So really convenient. They had the ping pong tables with the, the balls and the rackets were already out there. Yeah, I wonder if there's other people playing last night. So I wonder if they were all from last night. Yeah, because I know, I know normally you have to go in and um, ask for it. Yeah. I do see there's a playground over there, but I don't know yeah. if it's open. Cause I know like the looked like the kiddie pool was closed last night too. Mm -hmm. So one of the nice things about this resort is it does have a laundry area. Right. So um, you can actually go in at your own convenience and do laundry if you need to, which is pretty good, especially if you got kids and you know things get dirty. So <laughs> <laughs> right, which is nice because we get used to the DVC rooms Having where you have yeah. it in there. Um, but it is nice that they have the facility here to yeah. uh, to do uh -huh. that as well. I think so. As we said, the main pool, which is pretty convenient in the middle of the resort, similar to the other like value resorts and yeah. art of animation centrally located yeah and this one's the fantasia pool so it is bigger of the other pools that are here and we'll show you guys the mighty ducks pool as well here in a moment but right next to it um so you have the main area here there's a little bar over here down there's the toy story area and then right here is where the laundry facility is so yeah, right next to the pool building. at all the resorts they are still doing some recreation activities so make sure you check the board or yeah. Um, also on your resort TV, I'll show you some of the resort activities, but it's nice that they are still doing this um, because the girls really enjoy, it, especially the movie nights and stuff. And then here's the directory of the resort. So you can see we're right over here at the cinema hall. Our building was here, number nine, the Toy Story section, and the Fantasia area, which is right behind the pool. You have Love Bug right behind there. And then over to this side, you have 101 Dalmatians and Mighty Ducks. Not bad, and then this one also has the running trail like the other resorts. I believe we talked about this before, yeah. but the one thing about the Valley Resorts, not only are the theming, but how other guests decorate their rooms as well. Yeah. You can see here someone put up some happy birthday balloons, but I love walking the Valley Resorts, especially during like uh, Halloween and Christmas, because some guests go windows. all yeah. out yeah. of decorating their windows, or even now sometimes you'll see people place uh, some of their souvenirs like out in their their windows so something to be on the lookout for and here is the uh, 101 dalmatians area which is pretty can uh, relevant with the <laughs> the new uh, cruella movie coming out yeah. soon oh we talked about this but there's a lot of great photo ops at this resort i yeah. mean all of the value resorts but this resort right. has a lot of great movie photo ops mm -hmm. so last night we did one with um Kirby the love bug yeah we showed you the toy story we're here in the dalmatians area now so yep. a lot of great photo ops yeah and it um let's say normally when the other resorts like the other all-star uh, mm -hmm. resorts are open you can walk in between them oh, i mean yeah, it's a yeah. little bit of a walk but you can go check out some of the other themes as well like the yeah. music and sports because yeah. all of them have these big figurines and yeah. um you know larger than life photo ops there you go there's more people decorating uh their rooms yeah so you never know and that, that scared me up top but there's i don't know if you can see the <laughs> one up there but there's another cutout up there it looks like of a I don't know what that is actually. Well, so Sports we are or? here, we talked about the cheer competitions. There is right. a cheer competition that went on this past weekend. So right. some of those guests are still here and I believe that's probably one of their pictures. <laughs> that's fun though. Uh, so here we go, another relevancy, uh, even though this resort, you know, heavily 90s themed, <laughs> is uh, Mighty Ducks. So this is not obviously based on the new, the new uh, Disney Plus series, but here we go, the that's Duck right. Pond Pool. So you have a little bit Another pool that's not too far away, a little bit smaller than the Fantasia pool. Um, so they also have a laundry here, but your restrooms are right here as well. That's really cool. They look like lockers. I like that. Oh, that is fun. There you go. I love this theme. I'm glad it's coming back. And you got Goof. You got the Goof over there playing goalie. The, the, um, scoreboard over oh, there. scoreboard. Yeah. Perfect theming. The girls actually said, which one did you say you wanted to stay in? You wanted to stay in the Mighty Ducks? You wanted Ducks to stay in Mighty Ducks, and one of them wanted to stay in the Fantasia one because of the ballerina, right? <laughs> yeah. That's cool. 
Well, we walked around the resort. We, we didn't did. show you guys everything just because we did some of it last night. But overall, I didn't. I feel like it was gonna be bigger than what I remembered it well, being. You know what it is? It's because really it's three resorts and one. Right. So the each section is a little bit smaller than what you're used to. I mean, definitely not as much as walking around Pop Century. Oh yeah. Or, or so, but I, I think yeah. that's because you've got the three separate areas. True. That's gonna do it for our yeah. one night stay here at Disney's All-Star Movies Resort, checking out the newly refurbished rooms. Yeah. Did you have fun? Yeah, you liked it? Yeah, it was a good night. It was a good definitely night. definitely recommend if you are looking for a value resort, mm -hmm. these rooms are just remodeled. Yeah. And they have plenty of storage space for you. Yes. And, and not a bad uh, place to, to stay for a few days. No. I don't know if I could do it for a week, but we have I'm sure you can manage. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you can manage doing that. So yeah. if you're new here, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell for notifications yeah. because we don't do this often, but we do. We'd love to bring you along. Remember, it's great, big, beautiful today. Tomorrow's just Dreamway. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye.